if you are an investor from New York City, I want to talk to you, right? Because I think you got problems. I think you're running into landlord tenant laws that are untenable. You like that? That's like a pun right there. That's what I do. I make jokes. I'm a funny guy. Second thing, right? Besides the landlord tenant laws that are untenable, I think you're running into a housing market crisis. I feel like the affordability of New York is at an all time low. Things are at an all time high level of insanity. I'm here to help you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for New York City investors, Johan and Lillian, right? And they are out there in New York. They want to become cash flow investors, but they only have $30,000. That's a problem, right? What can you do with 30K in New York? Nothing, really, nothing, honestly. It's insane. Housing, the housing market in New York City, it's insane. I, it, it, it's literally out of this world affordability. It's an affordability crisis. Not to mention, if you do scrape and save and try to get enough money, work your freaking fingers to the bone for the next 75 years and finally buy a rental property, the government in New York pretty much just freaking just pounds you in the butt. No lube, no courtesy reach around. It is horrible how they treat landlords in New York City. So people like Johan and his girl Lillian, they come to me. They're like, Jay Wise, what can we do with our 30K? And I take people like them and I put them into the markets that actually make sense. The markets where they can use 30K and get their investment started. The markets where when the government gives it to you, they're going to buy you dinner first and then give you a courtesy reach around. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Johan, I think you're going to dig this one. Uh, I've done some other videos for you. And uh, we fall into your budget of well under the 30K. This one, I went a little higher than your budget. Seven and a half thousand dollars. I think you're going to need like 37K for this one. So I know it's a little higher, but dude, I really, really, really like this investment. I'm going to explain to you why after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, I want to show you guys this multi deal that is really tickling my, uh, tickling my feather. I don't know. Get my beak wet. I'm trying to think of other cool phrases to say. I don't have any. If you have some, put them in the comments. That'd be cool. But uh, tickling my fancy? I don't know why I'm, I'm stuck on tickling right now. It's getting weird. Anywho, we should probably go back to real estate before an adult man continues to speak to an audience of mostly adult men. It's true. Like 88% of our viewership on Holton Wise TV is adult men. I, I, I review the analytics quite often, folks. So I can tell you, with utmost confidence that 88% of the people watching this are also adult men wondering why this adult man is going on a tickling rampage. I am not going to say tickling again. Anywho, the address of this multifamily property, 156 Stanford Ave, Elyria, Ohio. Hit the market 14 days ago, but that is misleading, okay? It hit the market, and then it immediately got bought, bought, right, put under contract with another buyer, and then they backed out. Don't worry. It's irrelevant why they backed out, folks. People back out on these investment deals all the time. I know I get a lot of new real estate investors. The first question, they're like, oh, they backed out. Why did they back out? Oh, my God, why did they back out? Is that a red flag? Is this a horrible deal? Oh, my God, it's going to explode. Calm yourself, folks. Don't make me jump through the phone and start tickling your armpits. Ah, I did it again. Anyway, look, people back out all the time. It happens, okay? The reason that why they backed out is irrelevant. In real estate, we trust but verify, okay? Could they have backed out for a legitimate reason? Maybe the house is a crazy structural issue. Maybe. Unlikely. What's more likely is they flaked. But it doesn't matter because we're going to do our own due diligence. They are irrelevant. 
When we make our offer, it will be contingent on inspection. And if there is a red flag, we will uncover it and address the situation as that goes, right? But this deal, this is a banger. I love this. So don't think, oh, 14 days, we could lowball these people. No, 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 no. They're asking 149.9. We got to bid at least 150. That's the minimum we got to bid. I honestly think you might want to go a little higher. I will leave that to you. You tell me how much you're comfortable. But we got to take this sucker down, right? The market, Elyria, Ohio, folks. I take y'all, and I take you to the best cash flow markets in the USA. That's what I do. Live where you want. Invest where it makes sense. This place, it's in Lorain County, Ohio. It's about a half hour away from Cleveland. Cleveland's one of the best cash flow markets. This particular municipality, this county, they're getting two new naval bases this year. That's going to be like three or 4,000 new jobs, number one. Number two, the city of Cleveland, where a lot of investors from a national scale, right, people like you looking to go out of state for the cash flow markets, you guys flood the city of Cleveland because that's the most well-known one, leaving big, big cash flow just a half hour west that a lot of people aren't paying attention to, right? In addition, I think the government – in Lorain County, much more landlord friendly than in Cleveland. Hell, in Cleveland right now, they just uh, they're putting out these new lead based paint laws, and uh, it's a little it's crazy, honestly. Like I'm not saying, folks, you could never invest in Cleveland again because of these lead based paint laws, but it's a brand new thing, and it's like rolled out, and there's been a lot of mess, and the whole thing's just a disaster at the moment. As a matter of fact, they just did a half hour long video explaining that process. I'll Link it in the video here uh, below. So after you watch this show, check that out, right? So when you invest in Elyria, you don't have to deal with that. Because I think things in the city of Cleveland itself, where a lot of people are thinking about when they think of this area, Northeast Ohio, I think they're going to be pretty, pretty messy, pretty scary for probably the next 18 months, right? I am taking a, whoa, let's wait and see what goes on how this all transpires approach right because there's a lot of confusion with how these new laws work so you're gonna need to check out that video after you check out that video you'll be like dang jay wise you are right this really is a screamer of a deal right and what this is is a duplex and in this market the cleveland market right cleveland market not necessarily the city of cleveland the cleveland market folks cleveland market when i refer to the cleveland market we're talking about a population of like five million people four or five million somewhere in there I should really Google that so I can give you guys the exact number. But you know what? Why? Why? Because you know what? I don't know when you're watching this episode, right? This episode, you could be watching this in 2022. You could be watching it in 2027. You could be watching this bitch in 2029, 2107 on your freaking hovercraft. I don't know. I don't know what the exact population will be at the time you watch this, but right now it's like four to five milli, and only about 350K of those live in the city of Cleveland, right? So big picture, big picture. In the greater scheme of the market, 90, like 5% of the duplexes are up, down. So there'd be like an apartment up here and another apartment here. This is a side-by-side, -side, right? So it's like split down the middle, okay? One house here, one house here. These are way better. Only like 5% of the multifamilies we have in this market are built like this. Whenever you get the opportunity to buy one of these, you have to. They're amazing. They are so much better than the up-downs, right? Why? Tenants don't fight as much, okay? The noise doesn't travel as much. They have multiple floors. It feels more like a single-family home, okay? And this thing is already renovated. It looks freaking mint, dude. I don't think we need to do anything, right? Heck, you even got this bonus space attic for each of them. By the way, it'd be cost prohibitive to add another bedroom. You wouldn't get a return on it, so don't even ask. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is if you get the opportunity to buy a side-by-side, -side, you absolutely need to jump on it, especially a turnkey one like this, dude. You're going to get higher rents. More importantly than the higher rents, you're going to get tenants that stay much longer, right? Uh, these are the bee's knees, man. I love this. One unit is 3-1, the other is a 2-1, right? So we're looking at a $1,700 a month rent roll. It's 20400 for the year. Now, you don't get to keep that, folks. That's why people invest with Holton Wise, because they break it down to you honestly, right? After factoring in fixed and variable expense estimates, assuming my team handles the on-the-ground work for you, right? It don't matter if you live in Portland. It don't matter if you live in L.A. It don't matter if you live in New York City. Live where you want. Invest where it makes sense. My team handles the on-the-ground work, and I believe your level of performance should look at a clear NOI of around nine grand a year after factoring in all you got to pay us to handle the thing so it's completely passive for you, right? 
You only put down 37 and a half. Bank kicks in the other 112 and a half. That is just shy of a 10% cash on cash return. In all honesty, it might even perform better than that, right? Because back to the other chart. I have you keeping back 1,020 for repairs and maintenance, 1,020 for vacancy and non payment, 1,020 for CapEx. That's actually, that's like three grand every year. When things go good, that goes right into your pocket. I'm just not letting you consider that as cash flow. It still goes to you, right? You don't pay. You don't not get. You don't like have to factor in the vacancy if you have two tenants in there, right? You don't have to factor in CapEx if you're not doing CapEx. But I have you guys add that in to think about it because, like, this property, the roof, it's like a eight ten thousand dollar roof. You only got to do the roof once every thirty years, right? So I'm having you like average out the cost, right? Because like, if it's like the roof's due in one year, you're spending ten k. So that's what you're like. Uh, you're aggregating that stuff out. That's why I have you guys do that. But the fact that this is has a three bedroom unit, number one, number two, it's the beautiful side by side layout. Your your vacancy in uh, non payment, it's probably going to be lower than we see on average, right? Because most of the duplexes we deal with are the up downs, and tenants turn over much more frequently in those, right? You always got the guy upstairs like, no, oh, the guy downstairs making noise. Ah, oh, the guy upstairs making noise. It's a whole big issue, right? These, these things perform i really dig this deal nice safe solid investment right so i think you got to spend at least 150 i would not have an issue with you going 155 maybe even 160 to make sure you lock this thing up because it's rare it's going to move quick and i think it's going to be a heck of an earner for the long haul thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment